attitude, predictability. The milkman, the paper boy, evening TV. Did I get delivered here? Somebody tell me, please. Good morning, comments. It's a way better morning than yesterday. It's hump day. So happy Wednesday. We're halfway through to the weekend. I'm just glad that there ain't no rain this morning. Nice and dry. Well, are we having rain this morning? Kylie, tell us about that. Happy Wednesday, Comets. We are getting closer to the end of the week, but somehow we aren't getting any closer to some consistent spring temperatures. After yesterday's rain, our temperatures dropped to below 40, which was a 25 to 30 degree temperature drop. Our high for today is not going to reach much higher with a high of 47 degrees and a low of 33 degrees. The catch, though, is that we will have wind gusts of up to 20 miles per hour, so it's going to feel super chilly when that wind blows. In addition to all of that, we are also expecting to see some more rain as the day goes on. Wear your jackets, grab some blankets, and stay warm. That's all I have to report on today. Have a fantastic day and go crush it out there. Anchors, back to you. Thank you, Kylie, for that weather rundown. Spring weather will be here before we know it. You know, I almost put my jeans on backwards today. Really? Well, maybe you should, you should have. Did you know that today is National Backwards Day? BJ, tell us more about that. Edgar's back to you. Hope you guys have a nice and wacky Wednesday. It's all about having fun and thinking outside the box. On this day, people may choose to wear their clothes backward, eat meals in reverse order, or simply do everything tasks in unconventional ways. You can celebrate by wearing your clothes backward, eating your dessert first, walking or moving backwards, speaking in reverse, watch movies or read books backward, or host a backwards theme party. It's a day when the ordinary becomes extraordinary, and the mundane transforms into an adventure. The origin of National Backwards Day is unclear, but its purpose is straightforward to provide a break from routine and encourage people to embrace the unexpected. It's a, light, it's a lighthearted holiday that invites individuals of all ages to break free from the routine and engage in activities with a unique twist. If you guys are wondering why I'm talking backwards, it's because it's National Backwards Day. Good morning, CCHS. Ooh, thanks, JB. Maybe you should do something backwards today. It can rewire that brain and improving mood, and there's actually benefits of walking backwards. Although, I think it would be pretty crazy if everyone was just walking back first. Well, walking back to all your classes. Let's hear what we got to talk about. We got all the clubs. And likewise, I thought it's no surprise. I think so. Just to know. to what is on the slides we also have student council meeting today during period three then tomorrow we have an nhs meeting period eight as always there's so much going on around here that's what i love about central if you have if you haven't attended the club this year it isn't too late especially if you're an underclassman spend the next few weeks attending some clubs so you can find out what you like and get involved in from the start of next year Indeed. In addition to those clubs, we have a, auditions coming your way. Anyone wishing to audition for a choral or show choir for next year should see Miss McDevitt in the choir room. Take a look at the show choir during Voices in the Grove. Please help me welcome to the stage our first show choir today, Central Crossing Excelsior! <laughs>
Like so much fun. If you are interested, see Miss McDevitt. Also, note that the show choir dance auditions are tomorrow, April 4th at 4.30 in the choir room. Tomorrow, April 4th at 4.30 in the choir room. Don't be late. Next up, we have a way you can give back. This coming August before school starts, we will host Common Academy, a time for incoming freshmen to be here, walk their schedule, have lunch, and much, much more. We need you to make this event successful. If you are interested in taking a leadership role, this is working as a TA or teacher's assistant. You can sign up in your cohort classroom or on CCHS website. This is a great opportunity for the community service hours that you may be looking for. And it is amazing look on applications. It's also a fun day and you get free lunch. So please sign up. Speaking of signing up, tell us about what sports are underway sporters. Good morning, comments. It's Mike and Tim. And today we have the sports news for you. Let's start with the current plans for boys and girls soccer. Our boys soccer team has open gyms every Monday and Wednesday from 6 to 7.30 p.m. in the auxiliary gymnasium. Have any questions? Email Coach Cowles at the email below. And then all our lady comment athletes. Morning workouts run every Tuesday and Thursday morning from 6 to 7 a.m. And Wednesdays after school from 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. Also, Lady Comet soccer players, you have a meet, parent meeting next Tuesday, April 9th at 5 o'clock in our cafe. New and returning players must attend, so see Coach Williams if you have any questions. Later this week, on Friday, we have a pep rally in honor of our spring athletes. You can check the cafe slides for the adjusted bell schedule. Now, here's what we got going on over the next few days. On Thursday, girls JV and Varsity Softball are away at Lancaster. Both teams play at 515. And then on Saturday, Varsity Track will be away at Big Walnut High School. Teams, are, Both of the teams are on at 9. Good luck to all our athletes as you get your seasons underway. And sadly, that's all the news that we got for you. Keep it non-fictional, Central. Back to you, anchors. That was sports-tastic. Thank you all. Before we go, let's quickly talk about next week. Sounds good. There's a lot going on. Monday, we got an early release date due to the solar eclipse. We'll be out of here at 11.30. Buses will pick you up at regular time, but then they'll be back here to take you home at 11.30. Oh, yeah. And this coming Tuesday, we have a blood drive. Please sign up if you are over the age of 16. You can use the QR codes posted around the whole building to sign up. Next Wednesday is the deadline to submit items to our literary magazine. They publish poetry, short stories, essays, artwork, and much, much more. See any English teacher for more information and or talk to Miss Barnes in room 212A. Also, next week, we begin our EOC state testing. As you can see here, EOCs start next Thursday with EAL2. Including next week, state testing lasts for a total of three long, excruciating weeks. EOC testing is indicated in the green. All EOC dates use an adjusted bell schedule, which you can find on the cafe slides. If you're testing, please remember you get to get a good night's sleep, eat some breakfast, and arrive at school by 7.45 a.m. You should be in your testing room by 7.50. You testers got this in the bag. Crush it. If you are not taking a test, on the other hand, and you have your own transportation to school, 
please arrive by 1015 so we can get our junior senior classes rolling. But if you do not have your own transportation, plan to be in the building by 750 to 1020. You do you will not have access to your locker after 750. In advance, good luck again to all y'all testers. Y'all do great. And have a good one. Have a great day, y'all. Bye. Have a good day. Woop woop.